Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. We are going to be doing an angel cupcake. The first color that we start with is 18 karat gold by Primo. You can use whatever gold you have or that you like. And I have it rolled out to about one millimeter thick. This is for the pillar of the harp. I start with um, the toppings and cook them. I just basically take my hands and twist. So you can see that there. And then I bake this for about 15 minutes or until it hardens. If you have a king, the harp itself, the um, top portion of it, I use a little heart shape cutter. And this gives you a lot of scrap clay, so what I do is I like to mark it. And then if you want it flat, you can use that. But if you want to have a little bit of shape to it, you could use a ball tool. I use the tiniest one that I have. Sorry about the focus on this, I don't know why it's going in and out so much. But I draw a little line. Oh. Sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus. So I draw a little line on it. You can see dark brown and black. And then just paint inside that little area. Since it's watercolors, you can actually um, remove some of the color too if it's too dark for you. And I decided to go with a golden colored harp to match the little halo on the cupcake. So I take this shape which looks like a harp. Um, let me see if I can, if this will help with the focus. Okay, so I just bend the bottom portion down a little bit and then you can take one of the spirals that you have baked and cut one in flat. I dip it into a little bit of um, translucent liquid Sculpey and I place it against my little portion. I usually let it rest a few minutes to let it get tacky and build a little bit of strength. Now for this part it's much harder to show on camera And you're going to want to do this right-handed, but um, I'm left-handed, so I'm showing you with my left hand. So basically, you're going to stick the strings in like that. I do it on the table, so that way um, I have more control. I find it a little bit more fiddly to do it in the hand here, but I'm doing it like this at the moment just so you can see. So I usually just try to space them as evenly as possible. And this is 28 gauge golden colored wire. I'm going to go ahead and um, place the last few. And after I pa place the last few, I will um, be back. So here's one in the pan. Um, to get it on the pan, I just gently scooped it up on the edge of my blade and gently laid it down in the pan. I'm going to cook these as they are. So, so here we are, and you decide on the angle you want your harp, and you cut your strings and the excess clay with wire cutters. 
So that would be the shape. And I take a strip. And I angle it from here. I take a little bit of the translucent liquid Sculpey and I paint it onto the top all the way across. However long your harp is. And then I place the harp on it. And I try to get the strings to be as even as possible. Once that's done, I'll trim the bottom. And then I'll trim the top. There we go, there's the harp. We cook it one more time. For the halo, we roll a very thin snake of the same gold, and then we're gonna wrap it around something circular and small. You want to roll a thin snake and wrap it around a round item. I wrap it until the edges meet, and then I trim off the area that is longer, and from here, smooth the two edges together. You can even roll it slightly to help seal it, and then I go around slowly to lift it off. And there we go. A nice little halo that we get to cook. For the angel wings I'm using just plain white. And I actually bought, this is from Mod Podge and it is the wedding um, molds and the two little doves have some cute little wings and they are opposite one another which are perfect for the angel wings so I use the mold so after a few minutes you can pop it out and you can see how the wing is shaped so if you want it plain, you just leave it as is, and then you cook it. After cooking it, I slice the wing off the body of the bird. If you want it glittered, put some translucent liquid Sculpey on a fingertip, and brush it on to the wing. And you drop it in some translucent glitter. This is just clear without shine. And so that is our little wing. This is what it looks like without and with the glitter. So you could decide. I like it both ways. Um, so after baking them, we just slice off the wing. So here I wanted to show you how to slice the wings off. It's easiest to do it when it's nice and warm and you're going to need to be very careful not to cut yourself. And there we go, almost done. And there is our cute little angel wing. 
So, I went ahead and mixed turquoise from the Sculpey 3 line and I mixed it with a whole bunch of translucent in order to get my cupcake. If it's not quite rich or deep enough, you could add a really deep purple and that kind of adds a little bit more blue to it, a really nice blue color. And what I do is I roll them into a ball. I'm going to measure it and put the actual measurement of cross in my um, written tutorial. The exact size doesn't matter very much, but after having it rolled into the ball, I then rotate it in my index fingers. I have one hand on top and bottom and I roll it with the other hand and that's to give it a nice elongated, elongated, elonged um, cupcake kind of shape. I keep it larger on the top, more narrow on the bottom, and I want it longer than a normal cupcake would be. Now I let them sit um, for at least a couple hours. Um, if you see the little tiny round circles, this is where the ones I did last night were sitting and I left them overnight. That stiffens them a bit. And for those of you who've seen me texture cakes, it's exactly the same. If you don't want to take the time to watch me texture completely, I go in little tiny circles. And you want to be very, very gentle when you're holding the cupcake so you don't smash it too much. They do get smashed down, even if you're gentle. So that's why I make them longer than a cupcake needs to be, is because they, they start shrinking. Um, let me see if I could find one here. So see how much it shortened. That's why I make it a lot narrower at the base, wider at the top. So I go around in a circle. And I just do it over and over and over. It teases up a lot of the clay. So the frosting color is just adding white to the same mixture that you have to lighten it up. I wanted it enough to contrast with white so the white will stand out but make sure that it's light enough that it will also contrast with the cupcake. So I roll it out. I'm using my clay extruder for this and a Wilton tip number 16. And the first time you use a frosting tip in there, it's going to be straight. And then you just try to twist it on as much as you can and then use it. And then after that point, um, it starts bending it. It usually takes two or three times. And then it's like a normal tip where it screws on most of the way. And then I turn the little lever. And this is the frosting. So here we finish our little cupcakes. I grab a base, put a little bit of TLS on it, which is the translucent liquid Sculpey. And I smash the frosting to the center. And I carefully twist under and attach as I go along and I try to be careful not to squish the clay on the outsides so you can keep that nice frosting swirl hopefully I got that all in view for you and then from here I get two wings and I dip the edges of the wings in a little bit of the TLS 
and I try to figure out where I want to put them and I place them gently then I try to carefully put the TLS on one side of the halo meaning just the whole back side of the ring so it will attach to the clay here and there we go, we have our little angel halo and wings. You could have it offset, you can have it straight in the middle. Just play with how you think you might like it. And then, from here, you attach, oh, there's my oven getting ready to bake these little lily guys. I put the translucent liquid Sculpey on the back of our harp. And you want to place it in the oven where the harp rests against the cupcake in the position you want it in. If it's not sticking for you at all, then you can add a tiny bit of um, the cupcake color to the base of the harp on the back to help it stick and there we go that's all there is to it so now you bake it and um, if you want a little glitter um, something that I did is added a tiny bit of um, glaze to the top of the cupcake and sprinkled on a tiny bit of glitter it's um, a blue iridescent glitter so there we are that's the end of the cupcake tutorial and I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you could get some good use out of it take care